Job chapter 5 is from verses 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be healed from the scorch of the tank. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and failing thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Kuna vitu saba ambazo atatukomboa nazo. Na siku ya wenezei, tukaziangalia na tukaona ya kwamba out of those seven things, there are seven points that we can get or derive from that passage of scripture. One of the spirits ama meja wataabu ambazo mungu anasema na tukomboa nazo ni taabu ya shame ama ya haibu the spirit of shame anasema in the time of uh, in the time of failing I shall deliver you from death in other words iyo neno peke yake inamanisha vitu vingi but one of it inamanisha kwamba inamanisha shame haibu wakati wa kiangazi kama kiangazi kile kiko tu katika nchi kadhaa za Afrika na mataifa mengine hata kule nje Mungu anasema katika nyakati za kiangazi atakokomboa na roho wa haibu na tukaangalia roho ya haibu jinsi inamfanya kazi na maroho yale ambayo yanatembea na roho ya haibu roho ya haibu inapoingia katika maisha ya mtu kuna mambo ambayo yatakuwa tairi kwa hiyo mtu na tukaangalia tukaona ya kwamba Mungu anasema yeyote analiita jina la Bwana hata haibika so God is committed to deliver us from any form of shame haijalishi inatoka pande gani lakini Mungu anasema Whomsoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall not be put to shame. So shame is not your portion. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you shall not be put to shame. Imeni yako ni far-fetched. Inatoka mbali zaati. Wana asifiwe. Wana asifiwe sana. So inajua kuna wakati mingino mtu unapatanga this person as what I call secret shame secret shame is whereby you have something that is making you to be to shame you have something that makes you live in shame although it is not a physically showing what you are only what you call on the token of a verse when I say my mom knows that you are the man and the power we are the man and the power Huyo jamaa anaendelea vizuri lakini hawajui katika roho yako you are uko na shame uko na haibu kuna mwanamke mmoja katika Biblia for 18 good years alikuwa na haibu ya kutokwa na damu inawezekana hakuna mtu mwingine ameshare na yeye but this woman wakati ambapo anatembea katika maisha anajua ya kwamba I've spent all that I had kwa sababu ya roho ya haibu na utaelewa kulingana na kacha ya wayahudi mwanamke akiwa katika hali hiyo ya kunyoba kutoka na damu tu unapata kwamba hangetangamana na watu hakiingia hata kwako panakuwa pamenajisika kwa sababu yeye huyo mwanamke ako na that issue of blood That is why in the, in the, in the law of Moses Manamuke akiwa katika siku zake pia hata haku, haku rusiwa kwenda katika imbaada Wati hata kumbusa mtu Haku rusiwa kwenda katika imbaada That is how serious the issue was But now this one was for 18 good years 
Ange tangamano na watu She has secret shame But when she heard about Jesus Aga sema let me go And hear about this man Wakati amekuta katika mkutano She has this spirit of secret shame Aga tiga katika mkutano Na bila kuambia mtu ya yepo Aga tipenyeza katikati ya watu wengine Katikati ya watu Aga nguza nguo la yesu Aga nguza vazi la yesu Na haibu ikaondoka Ya kuombea leo katika jina la yesu Ya kuomba mungu atakunguza Na kila aina ya haibu itahama Kuna watu wa kuna secret shame You have not shared with anybody But you know deep inside of your heart Roya haibu ina kufuata May it be destroyed this morning I say may it be destroyed by the anointing Say by the spirit of shame I command you Die by fire In the name of Jesus So haibu Inaweza kakufatilia Na ukapata maisha yako ya hindi bizuri So this morning again I want to share about the difference from backwardness. So that I can have number seven, number two, spirit of the moon that I can compare now is a spirit of backwardness. Now you are running numa. When we talk about backwardness, it means reverse gear. You are in a manisha kwamba you can maybe unaita pinga tu ameja mbele. Then you go backward seven or eight times. Yari maisha yako unapata ya kwamba ni ule tu hanambeba na maji. Everything you touch is elusive. Kila kitu unanguza kinateleza. Kila atua unapiga unateleza nima. Siku ya leo itaondoka kwa maana amendi ni kwa hapa. Seba imahe. Seba every form of backwardness. Die by fire. Say by every form of darkness and backwardness, die by fire in the name of Jesus. When I do a kuna maro, I'm by the way I'm a fanya kazi na the spirit of backwardness. Now what are the spirits I'm by the fanya kazi na ro ya backwardness ni ro ya ku stagnate yani ni ro ya ku kuamia maale pamoja. Hawezi katoka leko wameja Wakati raw ya mbaku watnesi na kuwa introduced katika maisha yako One of the manifestations of that demon Ni spirit of stagnation You don't move forward Maisha yako na kuwanda You are always at the starting point Yani karika maisha unapata kuwanda You are every time beginning afresh Unasikia mtu anasema kwamba New Year's resolution na yataka kuanza upya. Maisha yako yanakuanda hivyo. You don't move forward. You are always at the same spot. Ama umerudi nyuma kupita hata mahali ambapo ulikuwa unapokuwa ukivuka mwaka. Huu mwaka nataka nikuombee utaenda mbele katika jina la Yesu. Mapenzi ya Mungu katika maisha yetu sio tu kuambia mahali pamoja kama terubishwe nyuma mungu anasema pia anasema na haimindiwe bwana mungu hanae fraia kuendelea vyema kwa atumishi wake and who is a servant of God the bible says you are a servant to whom you obey if you obey Jesus Christ you have heard the call of salvation And you are obeying Jesus Christ Then you qualify to be a servant of God And then you are qualified to do well in everything Seba imae Seba mtafanya viema Seba mtafanya viema Kwa viema zako ata kama sikai kufanya viema Mitafanya viema Kwa kwa wakati mungidu na angalienda mtu na wana hakai kufanya viema Eh? Suka mojana mtu Hala kuambia hii mwaka nitafanya one two na muangalia Muna muanalize unaona huu Hii ni ndoto ya mchana Sema buwana nisaidie Sema katika jina la yesu 
Ninakataa kuota ndoto. Chochote nimeamini mwaka huu kitakuwa reality katika jina la Yesu Kristo. So if you remain stagnant, it means you are not going forward. Meaning those that you have passed will catch you. Yaani unaona kwamba ule mtu ambaye alikuwa ulikuwa umempita kwa maana umekwamia mahali pamoja atakuja akupite. Si kama kuna mtu uliwaiendesha gari wale ambao uko na gari, uliwaiendesha gari, wewe ni ya kazi ama ni gari yako. Ukaendesha ukapita watu, fia 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 alafu gari yako inaenda inakwama. Unaona jamaa mtu ulimwacha that means a go anakupita. Unaona mtu ulipita one hour ago amekupita. Hiyo ndio maisha ya backwardness. Wakati spirit of backwardness inafanya kazi, unaona watu wanakupita. Unaona wanakupita tu ni kurudi nyuma. Na kwanza sasa hatari kubwa ni wakati ambapo gari inakataria ngia na huko tu. Kuna wakati mmoja tuliondanga harusi. Zamani kidogo, I think mwaka wa 2004 I was nilikuwa uh, na ubiri sehemu fulani. Sasa tukaenda harusi. Na nilikuwa katika mlima inakaa na mnaina tumebebwa na na lori. Sasa zile lori za zamani kanda imetubeba na tuko huko juu kwa mlima na mlima iko hivi. Gari kakataa ngia na kakataa break. <laughs> Wacha turudi nyuma my friend. Tulirudi nyuma. Kwa mama wanapiga nduru, tumejaa kwa gari. Ta hiyo gari imejaa na ni mlim kwa mlima inazungina. Yaani gari imekataa kabisa. Sian driver anajaribu akafungua mlango sasa ile anataka kutoka atuache hapo. Tuishie kule tutaishida. Mungu ni mwaminifu. Ile gari kwa sababu najua barabara ile unapataka barabara imechimbwa kwa mlima. Hapa kuna ukuta, hapa kuna ukuta. So jamaa kati ana, anafungua mlango, ile gari ile lori hivi kajikata steering. Na zile steering unakataa kama umeomba mdomo. Eh <laughs> unazaitiwa. Nasema nishikie hapa tukate. Yaani ikakatika break tu kwa neema ya Mungu. Mimi naonega hapo ni malaika alifanya kazi. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sasa inarudi nyuma, ikarudi kangonga ukuta nikasikia wa mama wamepiga nduru wakasema wewe bati ya letetu wezi ya mao haa mama wamebaki tutahera mingu <laughs> ana mimi zike karibia yu gari yaani hakuna mtu wala hati imesimema na imeweza kuingia kia wate tu wajare na ayo kabisa hatu wezi <laughs> praise the lord so karika maisha kuna watu na patanga wanaewa roo ya kurudi nyuma kuna wana wana rudi nyuma watu ni waacha miata zamani ndugu zako wa ndogo dada zako wa ndogo watu ulikuwa unaona kamutu kamejaa makamasi akashiki kitu shuleni ulikuwa umeenda mbele yake kwa masomo sasa kamekupita na kizungu yako yote unaongea kizungu na mapua lakini mvuko inakataa ina kitu Mungu atusaidie sema roho ya kustagnate ongea kwa nguvu sema roho ya kustagnate choneka na moto katika jina la Yesu Kristo So the tragedy of stagnation or stagnancy is that if you don't arrest it, it goes to the next stage called the spirit of decay. Ya unatika maali sasa wewe, unakuwa ni kama ule mtu eoza ukiwa hai. Unatembea na kindi wewe ni kivuli yako. Hauna kindi wa kuonyesha. Unajua ni kama pili wa namaga maji wakati wa mvua inakunde na tika maali inasimama hakuna outlet ni inlet peke yake then the inlet dries unapataka kwamba kuna tumundumu tungine tu mosquito kichura tunakuja tunazalia hapo maji inakuwa green maji tu ilikuwa safi na zuri just the other day unaona inazalia vitu zingine so stagnancy usipopigana nayo na we arrest katika maisha then itakuja to the next level ya decay Unaanza kunuka. Unapata wewe huko tu. Watu wameshakuzoea. Maombi yale naomba ni kwamba chochote shetani ameindroduce katika maisha yako kikakukwamisha, kika arrest progress yako leo hii kitaharibika. Sema kiharibike. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. So, raw stagnation, raw the 
in the spirit of backwardness Mungu anataka atukondoe nayo ili hayo maroho yanayozaliwa nayo yakuwe arrested na asiendelee kutupesa kwa maana Mungu anataka tufanye vyema Praise the Lord Sema nitafanya vyema Sema I shall do well in the name of Jesus Bado mstari wangu wa Deuteronomy chapter 8 verses 11 to 14 inakutafuta sana nipate kuona umetumia katika maisha ya kila mshirika wa kanisa Deuteronomy chapter 8 verses 11 Biblia nasema na utaka kukula na kushiba na kujenga nyumba yako nzuri na kukaa ndani yake Nyumba zako na kondoo yako kuongezeka. Fedha yako na dhahabu yako itaka kuongezeka na vyote ulivyo navyo jiadhari usije kumsahau bwana Mungu wako. So in other word, hiyo msari natuambia kwamba God will not condone any kind of stagnation in life. He wants me and you to do well to be perfect sema na kila kitu ulicho nacho na nisiwe na mwaka ambao ninatamani mwaka uliopita nina utamani nasema haki kama tu ningekuwa naendelea poa kama last year yani iwe you do not have a better yesterday that every day of your life becomes better and better and not bitter when you remember your old days when you are doing good when you could secure a job without a struggle when every man yani wakati kila mwanaume alikuwa anakutaka na saa hii hauna mwenyewe na huko hapo yani walikutaka wote kwa hawamu moja na baadaye kila mtu akakupuuza wakati ambapo hauwezi kupata kazi wakati kambuni zilikuwa zinakupigania wakati customer walikuwa anakupigania kwa biashara but at the end of the day shetani anakuja anapanda roho ya kuchukiwa roho ya haibu roho ya kukwama na roho ya kuweza ukiwa hai unambaki wewe ni mtu akosema guy nikumbuka bila customer walikuwa anapanga laini kwa biashara yangu nakumbuka bila nilikuwa napokea msimu kila mahali ya kuitoa job right now i cannot imagine that i can secure a job I cannot imagine that I cannot get a wife, I cannot get a husband. Mungu atusaidie katika jina la Yesu. Sema Bwana anisaidie. Sema roho ya kukwama na kurudi nyuma katika maisha. Choneka na moto. Choneka na moto. So njia moja ya kuweza kukwamisha roho ya kurudi nyuma inaita covenant association covenant association na maanisha ya kwamba with your place of worship katika matambao mahali ambapo Mungu amekupatia nafasi ukapata kuzaliwa kiroho upata kuchigo kulindwa kiroho lazima uelewe ya kwamba tunahitaji association we need associations that are something spiritual to transfer a relationship that goes beyond the flesh realm tunahitaji uhusiano wa kiroho ambao kuna kitu cha kuweka katika maisha yako tutoke lepo ya kimwili tuingie katika lepo ya kiroho whereby our association is spiritual and not just guided by flesh attachments mali ambapo wakati naongea kuhusu covenant association yani hiyo uhusiano wako na madhabahu ni uhusiano wa angano uhusiano wa angano si si tu uhusiano wa kufika let me tell you something hakuna baraka ya mshirika kuna baraka ya mwana na mbindi katika ufalme wa Mungu i'm saying There is no any blessing for a member of the church. There is a blessing for a son and a daughter 
in the kingdom of God. And so this sonship is not a flesh one. It is a covenant one. A covenant sonship. A covenant daughtership. Kama kuna kizungu ya inaio. Ya kwamba usiamo wako una nini? Una kitu ambacho kinaweza toka katika madhabao kikaingia katika maisha yako madhabao yakainua yaka kitu ama yakatoa kitu katika madhabao yakaweka katika live yako Praise the Lord Praise the Lord So that you come to the church it doesn't guarantee you a blessing Because una toka kuja katika matabao kwa sababu umekuja just like any other human being na wacha nikuambie katika kila matabao yanakuanga kuna pepo ina monitor hayo matabao na kila matabao pia yanakuanga na malaika ambayo malinda na ana supply baraka za hiyo matabao wana sifuri ukisoma kwenye kitabu cha Genesis uh, sorry, kitabu cha Revelation pia naongea kuhusu the seven churches and the seven angels of the churches of the church of Laodicea the church of Philippi the church every church has its own angel wana sifiwe wana sifiwe sema bwana nisaidie nipate baraka ya malaika wa hii madhabao katika jina la Yesu Kristo so you qualify to get the blessing of the angel of that altar when you are subjective you are submissive to that altar and the instructions as a son as a daughter of the altar hiyo ndio nimezungumza kuhusu covenant relationships na usipo kuwa uelewa hivyo tena elewa ya kwamba katika maisha every man of god anakuanga na vitu viwili vinamzunguka number one, he has the mando or the anointing number two, he has a patos mtumishi wa mungu yeyote anakuanga na anointing ambayo inafanya kazi katika maisha yake na pia kuna vita zinazopigana na yeye. Ukiona hii kanisa imesimama, unajua unaona kama uko ukiona ATG tu. <coughs> Tuseme kwa mfano wewe apostle msini pale yako. Wakati amekuta hii Nairobi kuna mashetani yale alipigana na yeye mpaka akafika mahali ameafikisha. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. <laughs> I remember one of our members akieleza akasema alitoka kwa alitoka tu akienda kwa choo. Then akakutana na jamaa, mimi nakuja kama ana wasiwasi. Jamaa me, you know, nywele zake haziko sawa. Yaani eh, ako anakaa kama mtu wazimu wazimu. Akafika akamuuliza wapi pasta? akamwambia pasta anahubiri nataka kumuona yeye akamwambia hawezi kutoka kwa madhabahu anahubiri unajua akamwambia akasema huyu mtu anatusumbua anatusumbua kwa nini anatusumbua na jamaa hakuongea tena akatoka akaenda mbio unajua nilikwambia sande nilisema hapa sande nikasema whether i like it or not ninajua vizuri whether nitaomba spiritual welfare ya prayers ama sitaomba ama wea kuna mapepo yanapigana na mimi wana asifiwe so yale mapepo yanapigana na mimi lazima nielewe ya kwamba ni lazima niatiishe lakini sasa ya simbofaumu kupigana na mimi ya tatafuta mtu anayekunja kwa hii madhabao wana asifiwe ya tatafuta yule mtu ambaye anakuja kwa hii matabao hili ya pigana na yeye kwa sababu ya mshindo na mimi unajua na kula nyumbani tunajuanga ya kwamba hata wamama wengi hapa <laughs> sisemi hapa 
kule ushago na nini na kule ambao wale wa mama wajaokoka wengi na naamini hapa hatuna mama wa aina hiyo wa mama wengi wanashindwa kutukana baba wanamtusi kupitia watoto na mzee mmoja juzi aliambia mimi pasta sikulangi nyumbani especially when i don't have money mimi sikuli nyumbani nikamuuliza kwa nini akasema pasta mke wangu akinunua unga hapike na ameniacha sina njoo kwa nyumba njioni itakuwa wimbo watoto wanasomewa kuja hapa na wachanga hapa mmelala hii chakula ni yangu mimi mwenyewe ndiye nimenunua hii na wachanga mmelala sasa unajua watoto wafanyangi kazi lakini anasomea mzee kulitimpitia nani watoto sasa akaniambia pasta nisipata pesa mimi kulaki nyumbani na hiyo nimeshaandika kwa roho yangu sitakula chakula cha mke wangu <laughs> hii ni matusa yanatukana hiyo siku unaekewa hapo unasikia mtoto anaitwa anaambia kwa nini unaangusha ugali eh unajua mimi nimewaacha kama mmelala nikaenda kutafuta pesa sasa <laughs> hiyo mzee ndio amekata ugali ya kwanza ah anasikia imezeki <laughs> sema bwana nisaidie sema bwana nisaidie so yale mapepo ambayo hayawezi yakapiga mzee yanaingia kwa watoto <laughs> eh bibi hiyo yale mapepo yatapigana mimi yashindwe yanakutafutanga yanauliza nitaweza kupata nafasi kwa jina gani na ndio paulo anasema kwamba msije mkampatia shetani nafasi kwa sababu ukimpa shetani eh nafasi atakunyorosha properly Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Pale sio nimesema kwamba kwa kila mtumishi wa Mungu anayetembea they are two things on them the mando and the battles. Kwenye kitabu cha second no, sorry. Kwenye kitabu cha Luke chapter 2. Luke Luke mlango wa pili. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Is it verse 52? Mhm. Verse that to four sorry. Luke chapter 2 verse that to four nasema and Simon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother behold this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against yani Yesu hana vitu viwili vinafanya kazi katika maisha yake either a lifting or a bringing down na hivyo mimi nimeitwa Yesu anasema kama vile mbaba aliponituma nami na watuma Yesu akiongea mahali pengine anasema whatever i say to one i say to all so if i believe in jesus whatever he spoke to peter applies to me 100% bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe so vile anasema kwamba he is there he is yeye amekuja for the rising and the going down of many so what am i saying kaisha kila mtumishi wa Mungu kuna kuanga na vita za kuzimu na kuna kuanga na anointing inayofanya kazi naomba Mungu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo anointing inayofanya kazi katika maisha yangu ambayo imenifungulia milango ambayo inaponya watu ambayo inakomboa watu ikupiganie katika jina la Yesu na vita vya mapepo ambao wanakutafuta wasi kuona kwa jina la Yesu praise the lord praise the lord sema bwana nisaidie so that you came to the house of god is not a guarantee that your life will change and that uh, you, you, you that you met with the great man of god it is not a guarantee that your life will be great maisha yako kinacho change maisha yako ni kwa sababu ya covenant work a covenant relationship with the man of god 
Na that is why nimesema in this life lazima uazimie katika moyo wako ya kwamba I will take responsibility as a son and as a daughter of the altar of God. Kwa sababu unapochukua hiyo responsibility tena lazima utaelewa ya kwamba baraka zote za madhabahu ya Mungu any time I begin to call on God na kuliku na kunena baraka katika madhabahu hiyo baraka itaanza kukuja kwako tu inakuja kwako tu Bwana asifiwe sana Bwana asifiwe sana Ukiangalia katika Biblia Paulo alikuwa mtu alikuwa na anointing ya hali ya juu nataka nikuonyeshe upande wa vita vya watumishi wa Mungu. Biblia inasema kwenye kitabu cha First Timothy chapter 2 verses 19 and 20. Pati ni verses 20 vinaongea kuhusu wa jamaa wawili. Jamaa mmoja anaitwa Hymenas na mwingine anaitwa Alexander. Paul anasema kwamba Paul anasema kwamba because they did not hold their faith because I did not hold firm their faith nimewapatiana kwa shetani ni makosa sana kukua kwa madhabahu ambayo inadeliba watu kwa shetani na wewe ukupeano kwa shetani kuangalia <laughs> mwenzako kuulize wewe unaona utapeana wapi <laughs> bila unaongea na sapran na najua unakuanga na base sio tusomee hapo kwa First Timothy chapter First Timothy chapter 1 sorry First Timothy chapter 1 verses 20 um uh, verses uh 19 but it was verses uh, 18 sorry let's begin by second uh, first Timothy chapter 1 verse 18 to 20 and asaba this church i commit unto thee san timothy according to the promises which were before on thee that thou by them by the way in good warfare holding faith and a good conscience which some having put away concerning faith are meant shipwreck or ruined their life of the one is aimelia aimelius and alexander whom i have delivered and satan that they may learn not to blaspheme the true son and the true daughter will never blaspheme blaspheme ni kudharau bwana asifiwe bwana asipe sana paul anaongea na timothy na unajua kitu mimi kitu kinanishangaza Hymenius and Alexander itapokuwa walikuwa katika ministry ya Paul and he doesn't term them as sons anasema ana address Timothy Timothy my son but Alexander and Hymenius how address kama sons Bwana asifiwe because a true son takes responsibility and they do not blaspheme hawa darao na nimesema mara zote ya kwamba kudharau sio lazima uonyeshe pasta ya kwamba una darao lakini kudharau ni kutoshika imani kwa kile anachokufundisha na kukosa kwa kupractice because when you believe in the man of god and what he teaches and what the ministry is all about you will practice what they teach okay bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe yesu ametumwa kutoka mbinguni anasema whatever i see my father do i do it also a son will practice what their father does bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe so what am i saying Paul anapoongea na Timothy anamwambia you are my son but as as for Hymenius and Alexander they have no place for sonship because sonship is about 
responsibility and not just appearing in the house of God. Let me tell you something. Nimesikia watu wengi akisema oh mimi niliacha kanisa si kuacha Mungu. It is a church I left I did not leave God. Let me tell you something. Katika haya maisha in your spiritual walk if you must live an impactful life lazima ukuwa na a spiritual authority that will speak over your life. Amen hapo ni kidogo. Paul anasema kwamba ambapo anasema let, 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 let's go there back kwenye kitabu cha first Timothy to first Timothy chapter 1 verse 18 anasema this church i commit unto thee son Timothy according to the prophecies which went before on thee that thou by them might as well a good warfare holding faith and a good conscience Unajua engudi conscious inamaanisha kwamba unaweza ukarekebisha na mchungaji wako na kwako usiona kama ni kitu. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Number two, you hold what they teach with a lot of respect. Lakini nasema kwamba wengi wamekataa majority na nimesema kwamba katika haya maisha si watu wengi ambao madhabao yanaweza yanaweza badilisha maisha yao in totality simply because they believe in other things than what is being taught in the house of God Mungu atusaidie sana Anasema hold in faith and a good conscience which some have been put away concerning faith are made shipwreck anasema wanki sijui Kiswahili nasema nini nataka Kiswahili neno la Kiswahili especially the big part of that scripture eh aha wanangu wanangu timotheo na kwa kabili agizo hili liwe akiba kwa ajili ya maneno ya unabii yaliyotangulia juu yako hili katiba hayo hili katiba hayo ulimuzi zile vita vizuri huwa mwenye imani na dhamiri jema wengine wengi wamesukumia mbali wakaangamia kwa habari ya imani katika hao kuna hamina na iskanda ambao nimekupa shetani watu hao ili wafundishwe wazimutukane Mungu tuko na watu ambao wako katika tumba ya Mungu wanatukanda mchungaji. Mm. Sasa watu Paulo anasema mimi sioi peana mmoja kwa shetani lakini Paulo anasema kwamba as much as our watu they are they blaspheme ninawapeana kwa shetani. Leo hii mchungaji akisema okay nitakupatia nitakupatia shetani utahama kanisa kama umeme. Nimesema sasa huyu ananipatiana kwa shetani mchungaji gani analaani Paulo mwenyewe anapeana kwa shetani anasema huyo mtu nimempeana kwa shetani na si alimeja pati wawili kuna watu wako katika madhabao ya Mungu na wameshapeana kwa shetani kwa sababu hawana dhamiri nzuri na imani ile ambayo wanafundishwa pia hawai practice so what happens unajua inawezekana mchungaji hawezi akasema na mdomo na mimi najua ninaongea na watu mpaka wako ngambo. Ninaongea na watu wataona hii message kwenye Facebook, kwenye YouTube miaka na miaka na milele. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I'm not just addressing you. I'm teaching you the way of life. If you must profit in the matters of faith, lazima uwe na a good conscience. 
Kona si pesa. Kona si pesa. Timothy, kama utapinga vita vyema na upate kufanikiwa una mbingu uliyokuja juu yako. Number one, hold your faith. Number two, have a good conscience. Then then number three, you must not bless faith. Kona si fiwe. Neema ambayo iko juu ya mtumishi wa Mungu usie yeshimu na usipoichukua na uzipe unaofaa aiezi kama faida katika maisha yako. Everyone that is shining in the things of God has been meant by somebody katika madhabahu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. So, Mungu atusaidie sana tusiende kwa shetani. Wewe ni vibaya sana. Ndio nimesema kwamba around every spiritual place there is a devil man in that place. Kuna pepo inakuwa ikimonitor ni nani utawekelea mkono wangu juu yake. Na ndio nani akoba leo hii tuko na watu ambao ambao wako katika nyumba ya Mungu. Lakini life yao haiwezi to change because of those three things ambazo Paul amezizungumzia. They don't hold faith in anything. They belong to any church. Yaani hawanaga mchungaji anaweza wakosoa. Na that is why leo hii tuko na watu ambao they want yaani wanataka mahali ambapo wataenda tu waambudu wakimaliza wao waende na in case ako na any you know any makosa yoyote hawezi kuwa na mtu wa kumuuliza swali Bwana asifiwe they, 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 they just want to live their life anyhow only na mimi nimesema ya kwamba katika haya maisha mpendwa lazima ujue kwamba tatizo kubwa ya maisha yako inawezekana ni kile kinakuletanga kanisani na Mungu utaki akue the goal of your life The biggest problem can be that your problem that keeps bringing you in your church yet you don't want God I you don't want to be accountable to any mchungaji you don't want to be asked anything that can be your biggest problem and when you overcome that demon utakapo overcome hiyo pepo then the difference yako inakuwa ni kitu kidogo Bwana asifiwe sana. Sema Bwana nisaidie. Sema oh Lord, deliver my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So many people hate responsibility. Everyone wants the results, but the very few people can subject themselves to the process. Watu wengi wanataka nini? They want the results. Pastor, niombe ngoma mapepo yote, umaskini yote iende, but they don't want to be subjected to the process. Bwana asifiwe. Hakuna baraka yote ya Mungu ambayo haina process. Na mimi nimesema every miracle inakuonga 50-50. 50 sehemu ya Mungu na 50 sehemu yako ili iweze kutimia. There is what God will do to give you a miracle. There is what you must do for that your miracle to manifest. Okay. Isipokuwa the miracle of creation. Hakuna mahali pengine Mungu alifanya 100%. Okay. Mungu anataka kuinua Abraham. Alimwambiaje? Genesis 12 verses 1. Toka katikati ya watu wako, katika inji yako na nitakuonyesha. Akatoka na Mungu akamuonyesha. Abraham akaomba mtoto, akamwambia, "Bwana, mimi nazeeka, na mimi sina mtoto." Mungu akamwambia, "All right, nitakutembelea. Do this." Bila sema Mungu akamwambia achukue vitu vitano. Kuna ndama, kuna mwana kondoo, kuna jiwa, ndio you know, si bibilia inasema hivyo then baada ya Abraham kufanya sehemu yake then God came sema amen sema amen Mungu akataka kuinua Ibrahim hamtoe levo ya kuwa mzazi ya mtoto mmoja akasema he shall be a father of many 
Egyptians, what did he go to? Akamwambia, take your only son, Isaac, whom you love. Na umenitolea kama sadaka. Then Abraham alipomaliza hivyo, Mungu akamwambiaje, sasa nimethibitisha ya kwamba unanipenda. Na kutoka hapo Mungu akamuahidi and then Abraham became massively blessed. Why? Kwa maana hakuna muujiza wowote Mungu ataufanya maisha yako mwako 100%. Isipokuwa muujiza wa uumbaji. Sema amen. Sema amen. Lakini leo tuko na Wakristo ambao wanataka tu wakuje hekelea mkono haenda na unaona kwamba leo tuko na watu wanaoelewa mikono lakini wapokuja sehemu ya responsibility hapo ndio problem praise the lord bwana asifiwe as long as naaman amekataa kwenda kujitumbukiza kwa maji aweza kupata muujiza kwenye kitabu cha second kings chapter 5 let's go there as we wind up this uh, uh, service second kings chapter 5 verse 10 twende tu kwa haraka kiswahili second kings chapter 5 verse 10 ina nia ijawa this one all right wafalme wa pili mlango wa tano mustari ni watisa wafalme wa pili mlango wa tano mstari wa tisa bila nasema kwamba basi nama ni akaja na farasi wake na magari yake akasimama mlangoni pa nyumba ya Elisha naye Elisha akampelekea mjumbe akisema inaenda ukaoge katika Yordani mara saba na nyama ya mwili wako itakurudia nawe utakuwa safi lakini namani akakasirika akaondoka akasema dasama na libania bila shaka atatoka kwangu na kusimama na kuomba kwa jina la Bwana Mungu wake na kupitisha mkono wake mahali penye ugonjwa na kuniponya mimi mwenye ugoma je hapana na farapari mito ya Damaski si bora kuliko maji yote ya Israeli je siwezi kujiosha ndani yake na kuwa safi akakaeuka akaondoka kwa hasira watumishi wake akamkaribia wakamwambia wakasema Baba yangu kama yule nabii angelikwambia kutenda jambo kubwa usingelidenda je si saidi basi akikwambia jiosha uwe safi ndipo akashuka akajijulia mara saba katika Yordani sawa sawa na neno lake yule mtu wa Mungu naye nyama ya mwili wake ikarudi ikawa kama nyama ya mwili wa mtoto mchanga akawa safi thank you so naona ya kwamba Chinda ya Naaman haikuwa kuombewa. Chinda ya Naaman ilikuwa hasikize na ati tu vile ilivyo. Kwa maana problem kubwa iko kanisani leo ni kwa sababu watu wanataka mchungaji afanye kulingana vile wanatamani ama as in vile wanafikiria kwa akili zao. Lakini sio kulingana na instruction wanaopata katika maandiko na katika madhabahu. So wakati mwingi ungetaka mchungaji afanye kila unawaza kila unafikiria but now kuna wakati ambapo Mungu naye anasema this is the way things should be done and that is why watu leo hii roho ya backwardness kutoka kwa kanisa ni ngumu because naaman anasema nilindania nilindania lakini wakati ambapo alikumbali na akaenda akafanya vile mambo yake yalibadilika tu so you are not far from your deliverance deliver 
ulenzi yako umeshika kifungo yake you want to go far listen you want to go far do what you are being instructed only that so lazima uelewe ya kwamba kama mbado ungali mungu na moyo wako unataka kufanya vile unataka kama na amani bado ukoma wako utaendelea ukoma yako inaweza kuwa ni umaskini ukoma wako inaweza kuwa ni ugonjwa ukoma wako inaweza kuwa kutolewa ukoma yako inaweza kuwa ni kukataliwa ukoma yako inawezekana ni kukwama katika maisha as long as bado moyo wako unadhania unataka kufanyike bila unataka na kama sio bila unataka basi wacha hiyo kitu ikae nataka nikwambie kwamba utaomba omba utangangana so the spirit on upon one mess we can overcome it by covenant associations life ya mtu yeyote ambao aliwahi fanikiwa katika maisha ni lazima atakumbali kuwa na covenant relationship na hakuna covenant relationship katika biblia yote without your money wangapi hapa uliona wazazi wako na macho wewe walikufa ama wako hai uliona kwa macho alright hebu niulize swali kuna mtu uko hapa umewahi kwenda kwa mzazi wako akakubariki mkono mtupu eh na ni kwa nini unataka mchungaji ambaye si mama yako na si baba yako akubariki mkono mtupu your real father and your mother cannot bless you without your givings why is it that you believe that mimi ambaye si mama yako na si baba yako nafaa tu nitamka ange baraka tu nitamka baraka tu barikiwa katika jina la Yesu barikiwa ndio unaona za watu wako watu ni watupu katika life ona asifiwe biblia nasema mali fedha yako iko ndipo moyo wako uko if your money cannot enter this altar your heart is not even here and you don't qualify for anything is a spiritual is a spiritual principle you know giving is not just a principle or trying to take away something it is about your heart ni moyo wako moyo wako utakapo kuwa mzuri if you are good conscious concerning your pastor and his ministry pesa yako pesa yako itasema mm, hao wachungaji wa siku za leo wanapenda pesa inajua imeanza kuzunguka kwa kichwa anataka kutiitisha pesa Mambe mwenzako sio hivyo. Angalia mwenzako mzuri umwambie sio hivyo. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Sema Bwana nisaidie. Nishinde majaribu <laughs> ya pesa. <laughs> Sema Bwana naomba unisaidie nishinde majaribu ya pesa. So giving is living. If you get tired of giving you are tired of receiving from God. Bila sababu give it shall be given back to you. A good measure pressed down shaken together shall men give to your bosom. Bwana asifiwe. Sema amen. So you are giving is one door to your next level financially kama lazima ushinde ro ya backwardness kama mkristo lazima uangalie what am i letting in the house of god what am i letting in the altar of god because hiyo inaonyesha kwamba mimi nimesema mara nyingi kwamba ukitaka kujua mtu ambaye moyo wake ulishahama kwa kanisa eh hata kama anakujanga ni wakati ambapo utaona financial commitment yake inapotea hata kama anakuja mwili unakuja 
Yesu anasema wananitaja kwa mindomo yao lakini mioyoni mwao wako mbali sana na mimi. Bwana asifiwe. So mdomo unaweza sema I love you pastor. I believe in what you are saying but if your money is not entering the altar then uh, moyo wako uko mbali na mimi kivuli chako kimembaki mdomo wako umembaki na kwa hivyo ina maana ya kwamba unajua ukindisengage moyo wako kwa moyo wangu ama kwa madhabahu ina maana ya kwamba even my heart hata moyo wangu pia awezi my soul cannot bless you mchungaji anaweza akaongea vitu vingi kuhusu maisha yako akapokelea mbona baba katika jina la Yesu mbariki muinue muponye mfungulie milango lakini nafsi yake haikunenei ninaweza nikaongea na mdomo ambao ni mwili mwanadamu ana sehemu tatu ana roho ana nafsi na ana mwili alright so mwili unaweza ukasema oh, unakumbuka Biblia inasema aje Yesu anasema Yesu anasema hivi anasema roho yangu inataka lakini mwili unakataa kwa kila baraka ili ifanye kazi my soul must be convinced that you consider me as an integral part of your life Bwana asifiwe. Ili unajua okay, mtu anaitwa nani? Isa, Isaka. Isaka anaambia mtoto wake, anamwambia Esau, enda utafute mnyama, uje utengeneze chakula nzuri ambao roho yangu inapenda, nafsi yangu ikubariki. Nafsi ndio hiyo huwa inabariki. Mwili unaweza sema vitu vingi katika jina la Yesu ninakubariki ninakuinua lakini roho nafsi yangu isipokuja juu yako kazi bure sasa hapo ndio tuko wa Kristo wengi wamezunguka mahali pa kuombewa papa kwa manambi wamewekelewa vitambaa mpaka nyekundu Yesu mtu mmoja ameniambia nimeenda imbaada pasta hata mimi sielewi nimeekelewa kitambaa nyekundu nikaosha mwili yote hizi vitu ziko ziona kuna ziona kwa mitandao lakini bado mtu anabaki the same bwana asifiwe hey, bwana asifiwe sema bwana Yesu ninaomba msaada katika jina la Yesu so nafsi yangu nafsi ya mchungaji wako ndio huwa inakubariki if your pastor believes mchungaji wako akiamini unamdharau sikudanganyi nafsi yake mpaka siku ile itakuwa convinced that is a day you will be blessed na hakuna mchungaji yeyote atawahi kubariki maishani mwako kama nafsi yake haitakukujilia that is why tuko na watu wengi okay tuko na watu wengi na hapa mimi mbele ya Mungu hapa najua hapa hapa kuna watu wengi sana wanaondoa kuhusu pesa pesa hata wengine wakalipa pesa nyingi wafanyiwe madhabahu lakini kwa sababu na mtumishi hamna uhusiano wa nafsi We ukimalizana na yeye ukienda umeenda na hakuna connection nafsi yake itakukumbuka na itakuombea umelipa ni sawa consultation umeombewa umeolewa mapepo ukitoka the same demon yenye nilikuwa nakusumbua inarudi tena kwa mbaya sana kwa sababu hamna hamna covenant association Hakuna kitu katikati yako na yeye hakuna hakuna kitu. Wewe utabaki ukitumanga SMS. Pastor bado unanikumbuka kwa maombi. Unaona hata vile wamenyamaza akujibu. Anajibu anakukumbukia nini? Hatuna uhusiano tena zaidi hapo. You paid for my service. I served I serviced you. Kuna watu wengi leo wako katika mahali wanaweza wakasaidika but there is no covenant association. There is no covenant. Na nimesema ya kwamba if your life must change you must take a responsibility. Your conscience must be pure towards your man of God. Number three, you must hold faith. Ushike imani ambao na 
hadi imani siku saba tu nimeshika imani katika jina la Yesu hapana ku practice you practice what he says kumbuka statement yangu nimesema ya kwamba watu wengi wanataka results but they don't want to be subjected to the process of the blessing Mungu atusaidie may we stand on our feet just stand on our feet i, I just want you to open your mouth na kuna mahali ambapo unaona back witness in life umwambie bwana lord help me lord help me that i may hold a pure conscience that i may hold faith and that lord god the spirit of blasphemy draw ya kudharau draw ya kudharau isiwai niingia baba mungu ni komboe in case you have it you can talk to god na ukamwambia bwana inaomba uniondolee roho ya kudharau maneno ya kiroho imani ambayo nimeubiriwa imani ambayo nimejepo maisha ni mwangu yale ambayo nimeyapokea just open your mouth and talk to god right now kata the spirit of backwardness in life in whichever area where there is backwardness kata katika jina la yesu kata katika jina la yesu kata katika jina la yesu kristo just open your mouth and talk to god in the name of the lord every form of backwardness ikatae katika jina la Yesu every form of backwardness ikatae 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 rika tuti ya bidana riko toko tila baba baba rika tuka bila baba bazo zemba kalaga bila rika gata mahanda gemba pita baba baba riko tala baba baba katika jina la Yesu powers making god a liar in your life you must disgrace them in the name of the lord disgrace any power that want to show that god is not faithful that god is a liar in your life in the name of the lord kabina bozande rikava ila donzo gamba laino fa aligaba rikava loga bahanga zenge pada rikata himba bodoha zivemba lagabaga nasema omba mwambie bwana niondolee roho ya kudharau yale ambayo nimesikia roho ya kukuuza yale ambayo nimefundishwa by father my god nakataa kuendelea kama hamani wakati ambapo umenipatia anointing ya kunisaidia katika jina la Yesu Kristo just open your mouth and let god know that you are sincere from your heart in the name of Jesus Christ and by the grace of god you lift you from one level to another in the name of the lord wewe ambaye unanipata katika mtandao i want to speak a blessing over your life katuria vanaka taida rika tondo lo bagadina katika jina la yesu kristo ila kotonda inapita banaga rika tepa irika tondo baga katika jina la yesu kristo katika jina la yesu kristo in the name of the lord homa atuambie bwana hakusaidia kwa jina la yesu wewe ambao unanitazama katika mtandao ninataka nikuombe ya kwamba mkono wa bwana utakuja juu ya maisha yako hakuondolee kila aibu ambao watu wameiona ambao umekuwa nayo maishani kila aibu kila aibu kwa kazi ya mikono kwa biashara kwa mandiko vinadina kila aibu katika nyumba yako na akaitoe kila aibu kwa watoto wako kila aibu kwa fedha kila aibu katika kila aida kila sehemu ya maisha ila kwenda kinyume na roho ya kuaibika ila kwenda kinyume na roho ya kuaibika my father my god ninaomba siku ya leo kwa ajili ya kila mtazamaji ya kwamba mkono wako utakuwa juu ya maisha yake ila kemea kila nguvu ya giza ila na kila mapepo yanayofunga milango yake inakuomba bwana mkono wako kawe juu ya maisha yake katika jina la Yesu Kristo my father my god let every barrier be broken right now let every chain be broken right now and catch fire in the name of the lord by thy anointing my father thy people shall go to the next level of their life because your god is the name of Jesus Christ be blessed be lifted in Jesus my name amen sema kwa jina la Yesu sema kwa jina la Yesu heji mapepo 